Welcome to the video, everybody. Wanted to get y'all caught up on a few of my dumpster finds. Yesterday I found that jewelry. And so I did also, that was at a different spot, totally unexpected. And so today I went back by my favorite thrift store and a nice little development, I'm hopeful. Um, the nice so-called nice manager was there. She left. Um, I got a few things out of there. This, you know, nothing great, but finds. <laughs> I have to show y'all. Minka's looking. She's trying to get up here. Uh, this candle still wrapped up, kind of lost its shape, but this is not part of the wrapping. That color is part of the candle. Uh, a real nice 1993 local in the box ornament. There's no date on here. Of course, I'm not going to eat them. Everything's clean and closed, but I'll probably feed those to a dumpster cat. Not going to bring another one home. I don't see them. I'll just put it out. Uh, Minka was the only one I always saw because she didn't belong there. Electro brand. I need to look this one up, but isn't that a cool little transistor radio? I think this has come up. This is probably the... I don't know. So, I need to see if that's if it's got a battery, if it's corroded or whatever. Pretty cool. Here's the, all the socks. Uh, they are older. They've never been worn, obviously. This is the color of our university, so they were probably marketing for little athletic events or something. About 10 of them in there. Then I got this. This is closed. I don't know if people still use this or what it's worth. There's two of them. I believe both of them are closed. They look older and banged up and I don't know. Oh, 2005. But um, I can use those projects, doing projects with kids. Then this bag of little, like these things I guess are for if you walk your dog in an apartment complex, these little rolls of bags for, I guess, cleaning up when they go to the bathroom. Got some of these. Interesting, they're made in India. Don't know if they're complete. Um, this was a different dumpster now. Um, I don't know, laser labels. can use that probably just to price things. Uh, anyway, look at this. I got this today from beating my competition. I cannot find it online except for when it says worth point, and I do not have a worth point. So if anybody can tell me, Winter Holiday, Fitz and Floyd, Bone China, M.M. From, I don't know, two, and it's not chipped or anything. Cute. All these little animals. Just cruddy ones are going for $18.24, and this looks like a lot nicer um, of the Fitz and Floyd. And this was, uh, oh, this was behind an antique mall. Here she is. Hi, Minka. I know you're wanting to come up here. Oh, no, no, not right now. You can't jump up here right now. Um, I can't, I have to take this outside and go through it because it might have some a critter or something under there. I don't know, but look at this. This is full of vintage recipes. I'm not sure what year because it says it right there. Printed in Holland. You know, all kinds of recipes, not to mention, look at these handwritten recipes. I love recipes. I don't cook and I'm not going to use them for recipes, but 
just um, collections of this. It's cool. Chicken spaghetti. You know. Let's see what's the date on this paper here. It was like that, a well, bunch of empty boxes, so I think they filled an antique booth. She is open. <laughs> she's dying to get in here. 1982, just that. Doesn't mean they're all that, but, um, you know, pretty cool stuff here. I want to try to, I'm going to organize them. There's just some leaves down in here, and I don't know. This is really hard. Um, so pretty cool. I, I was excited about Piedmont. That's something different. I was excited about the recipes and everything, actually. So uh, tomorrow we have our jewelry jar. We want a, the last one. Uh, from the thrift I went by today and I saw John and I didn't ask him um, oh, I'm drinking the cold water because I've been drinking the the warm tea to relax it's almost time for bed and then I got thirsty we picked up some Mexican food today which we rarely do but boy it was good how much does the father love Jesus to an unimaginable imaginable degree right limitless and unending dimensions of love and that is exactly the love Jesus has for you the heart of the matter think about the scriptures verse at the bottom of this page as you journal today stopping to feel that limitless love wrapped around you reflect on what it means to live your life in that continuing love and as we close there's our verse Jesus said as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. John 15, 9. And we will see y'all tomorrow night for Friday Night Lights. Thanks for joining us. And the thunder rolls.